Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to do a Lilabo Discovery Set exclusive review. I want to go through every single one of the exclusive perfumes with you guys since I have the sample right here. I also want to tell you a little bit about the perfume, the backstory of it, some of the notes because I have some knowledge about these city exclusives because I recently was invited to a Le Labo exclusive event and at that event they had all the exclusives there laying and they had you know the raw materials like displayed for the people that are smelling these perfumes and so I feel like I have a kind of like a deeper understanding just because I was invited to that event and so there they actually did give me this little gift right here and inside it was the Le Labo discovery set with all the exclusives in it. Really nice for Le Labo to give this to all their clients for absolutely free so I was really honored um, as a Le Labo client and just someone who really appreciates and loves the brand um, this was just so special and I definitely am looking towards adding one of their exclusives in my collection. Currently, I only have Another 13 and Santa 33. I did have Noir, but I did end up selling it just because I was not wearing it that often. And even though these are the most popular Lilabo fragrances, they are popular for a reason. Um, but I do want to step inside the world of Lilabo that's a little bit more exclusive that not too many people have. And to me, that's the city exclusive. So if you didn't know what the city exclusives are for Lilabo, pretty much each city of their choosing has an exclusive perfume like New York, there's Berlin, there's Shanghai, there's China, there's Amsterdam, like Paris, you name it, there's a Le Labo exclusive scent. And so, and so those exclusives, pretty much they only sell them in that specific boutique or location, wherever that may be. But there is one time a year that you can buy their exclusives online or in person. The time is now because once it hits October, they're not gonna be selling these exclusives, only in the boutiques, in the stores, wherever that location may be. So I feel like there's not that many people on YouTube who are gonna review all of these. And so I just wanted this to be a more informative and knowledgeable video for any of you who are interested in adding one of these Le Labo exclusive perfumes into your own collection. This is how it opens up right here. It just has all the exclusives right here. And if you have purchased from Le Labo, when I got like these fragrances from the boutique, they would give me little samples, but they did not have like spray bottles on them. And so look, Luckily, these little ones do have a little spray on them, which is great because I don't know why they would give out samples that just have like an unscrew bottle, so that was kind of weird. But I'm glad that these um, have little sprays on them. And so the first one that we're going to go on the list right here is um, Cedrat 37. And, and a little fun fact that I recently just like found out, I just didn't even think about it, was like the numbers that you see after the name are the amount of ingredients in that specific perfume so Cedrat 37 has 37 natural ingredients in it and so I just thought that was pretty cool how each name has like the amount of ingredients in it so Cedrat 37 is actually from Berlin and this has top notes of so this has top notes of citron ginger woody notes musk and ambrette I would say when I was smelling this one in the event I really really gravitated towards this one and and I feel like this is a bestseller of the brand for a reason in terms of the exclusive line um, this is a really likable scent and it's perfect for spring and summertime. Wow, it's just so, so, so good. If you love more citrusy notes, um, then this perfume is really, really good. Also, if you like another 13, I feel like this is one that you will really, really like. When you spray this, I feel like it just makes you so happy because it has the sparkling like ginger and I feel like it just lifts up your mood and the citron and the ginger just combined together is just so good and wow it really just is so amazing when I like I said when I was smelling this one in the event this was definitely a top contender for me of one that I would add into my collection just because I do love more fresh scents and so Ooh. I do love another 13 which is why I have the big size bottle and I've been using this for many years and so like Cedrat is more of a crowd pleasing scent than some of the other ones in the collection. Um, I just feel like citrus scents and woody scents are just like a classic that you really can't go wrong. So this one with me like I feel like I would blind buy this one because 
I feel like it just has those likable qualities I know many of you are gonna really like. Also, other people who smell this on you are gonna love it as well. And like I said, it's a really good spring and summer scent. And so if you are interested in adding this to your collection for next spring and summer, I would definitely, definitely um, go purchase this fragrance now that you can during September. Next up on the list is Coriander 39. This is the Mexico City exclusive and this is their newest one. It's a really big deal for Lee Labo and they were really trying to push this fragrance and when I first smelled it I was just truly I've never smelled anything like this before. Um, I'm gonna spray it on my hand right now. A really kind um, associate who was working there he was telling me um, some of the backstory behind this fragrance and coriander is actually cilantro which i did not know <laughs> like i just know i did not think cilantro was coriander i just you know i just did not cross my mind but i guess like in mexico city um obviously cilantro is a really big part of the culture of the food and so the fact that one of the top notes in this fragrance is coriander or cilantro i thought was really fascinating and really really unique that i've never smelled in any other fragrance like this i feel like this fragrance from the very first time i smelled it and when i was wearing it throughout um the day because i did spray it on my skin and i was just kind of seeing how the projection and how it turns out on my skin this is a really really unique fragrance and i feel like the more that i smell it the more i like it um the coriander the cilantro is such a nice touch it's a little bit musky it's a little bit dark um the really top note is cilantro mixed with like probably some wood so that's the that's what i get from the very first initial spray and so it, yeah so the top notes are cilantro lime and aldehydes which i don't know what that is but it's so funny to me how the top notes are cilantro and lime like i've never seen that in any other fragrance so this is so unique this is so cool the middle notes are green watery and floral and the base notes are musk uh, this is a really unique fragrance you guys and i do like this it was not i'm a favorite first initial like spray and fragrance that i'm just like oh my god i need this like right now it wasn't really like that but throughout the day it just kind of like i just i would just keep smelling it and it was just so unique that i have to just applaud Le labo for creating such a unique scent with cilantro and lime that i've never seen before but i would say that this is not a blind buy cedrot 37 is a blind buy especially for those of you who like more citrusy woody scents but this one's definitely more unique and so this one i wouldn't say is a blind buy i would definitely go and to your nearest Le Labo now that it's September that they have these exclusives I would go try this out for yourself because um I feel like a lot of people are gonna like it but a lot of people are gonna just be like oh okay it's not that crazy it's not something that intrigues me and so this is more of one that for someone who likes a little bit more unique scents um not really crowd pleasing is just more unique and this could definitely be uh, someone's um, signature scent sort of thing. So yeah, so this is Coriander 39. So next up is Gaiac 10. It has 10 ingredients in it, so it's not as complex, but it does smell really complex and really, really good. This is the Tokyo exclusive, and this is one of their most popular um, exclusives as well, besides the Cedrot 37. But oh, this is really good, you guys. This is really just musky, powdery, and woody. The top notes in this fragrance are musk, gayak wood, obviously, cedar, and albanium, which I do not know what that is, but but at the event, they had a whole like tray of the gayak wood and the cedar kind of just sitting there like in its raw, natural form, so it's really nice to actually smell the raw materials um, that go into this fragrance, so that was a really nice touch that I really liked from the event, And but guys wow this is so so good this is ambery woody it's kind of sweet um powdery i feel like this fragrance definitely leans a little bit more feminine than masculine even though all of these are unisex this one just leans a little bit more feminine just because it's powdery and it's ambery but guys i've never smelled anything so delicious and so sweet this fragrance does actually captivate tokyo and and japan in general because i feel like the people there are so sweet and everyone's just so nice and it's just a beautiful setting and then you, you get like the blossom trees and that's like kind of the powdery note that i'm getting in this like i don't know like it just really captivates japan for me and this is just such a good smelling fragrance this is one that i would i would wear during fall and winter i just feel like this is a good kind of like everyday kind of clean smelling delicious scent and um 
Wow, I just can't, I can't stop smelling it. I feel like this fragrance is really popular for a really good reason. So a really good layering fragrance, layering scent. So if you want to wear this one with like another one, because I feel like just from the spray, this is not the most powerful scent out there. This is not a beast mode scent. And so this is definitely more lighter. It's more powdery and musky and it just kind of is more of a skin scent but you just smell so good when you wear this and so to me i would probably wear this one not alone i would probably wear it with another fragrance in my collection and up next we have tabac 28 so this is another one that i really really enjoyed from the lilabo exclusives guys this one like this one kind of gives me like tom ford like dark vibes I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's just darker because this has um, tobacco in it. This is also the Miami exclusive. Um, wow. Guys, the very first time I smelled this, this was my least favorite from the whole line. I don't know what it was. I think it's because I smelled it from the paper. And when you spray the fragrance on your skin, your skin chemistry, your body, it just completely changes the fragrance. So when I sprayed this um, on actually on my skin, I absolutely loved it. So Tabac 28 has top notes of tobacco leaf, guyac wood, rum, cedar, and cardamom. And the fragrance gave me like similar vibes to Killian Straight to Heaven um, because it does have that same rum note. If you watched my previous videos on this channel, you would know I absolutely love Killian Straight to Heaven. It's dark, it's kind of mysterious, and it has that rum note. And so you could actually find that rum note here in Tobac 28, which is I think one of the reasons why I love it. Not because it has rum. It's just, I don't know, rum to a fragrance to me, it just makes it so unique and so mysterious and just, it just smells delicious. And this fragrance smells delicious. And so I just absolutely love this. This is a tobacco, woody, warm, spicy kind of scent. And um, yeah, guys, like I, yeah. So if you like Tom Ford fragrances, a lot of the Tom Ford fragrances, the most of the time are kind of like, dark and woody and mysterious and so if you like those types of fragrances then Tabac 28 I believe is one that you should definitely look at from the Lilabo exclusive collection. This was definitely more mature you know it's probably to some of you it's gonna smell like like an old man or something but I don't know to me I don't get that at least on my skin chemistry it does not smell like old man but I could see how someone but I could see how some people could be like, this smells like an old man, just because it has the tobacco, it's dark, it's woody, you know what I mean? So, but to me, this is really good, and I feel like from the very first initial spray, it's good, but when I love this fragrance is definitely during the dry down and during the middle stage. Right there is when I love this fragrance, and yeah, that is Tabac 28. Next one is the Paris Exclusives, and this is Vanille 44, and this, I think, has the most amount of fragrances because 44 is a lot, and so that's the most amount of uh, ingredients in this, fra in this collection. And so this is another really popular one. I've actually have not smelled this on my skin, so this is going to be a first time uh, with all of you. So yeah, this is a really good one, but it's actually not my favorite in the collection. My favorite from the collection are Cedrat 37 and Tabac 28. So I definitely would rather pay the money for these than the Vanille 44. That's just my personal opinion. I know a lot of you guys love Vanille 44. This has um, top notes of vanilla, guyac wood, incense, mandarin, orange, and bergamot. So this does have the more citrusy kind of notes in it. And I feel like I haven't smelled this on my skin before. So I need to give it like a good couple hours for me to actually see if I like it or not. But just from the very beginning and from like smelling it in the private event, this was not my favorite. I feel like this one kind of gives me the same vibes as um, Gayak 10, but I definitely personally like Gayak 10 more than Vanilla 44. If you're looking for a more like sweeter kind of powdery scent, I definitely would rather get the Gayak 10 than the Vanilla. I, that's just my personal opinion. And so yeah guys, that's it for all the Lilabo exclusive fragrances. Um, I really hope you guys go try these out for yourself. Get yourself one of these discovery sets. This is a really good value right here, you guys. And I'm going to help you out just choosing what fragrance is best for you. And so yeah guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you got some knowledge and some insight of some of the new scents from Lilabo. And I'll see you guys on the next one.